Hey y'all, I'm back, but I'm just showing y'all my dinner. I got chicken Caesar salad. Actually, I had two grilled cheese and french fries, two chocolate chip cookies and stuff like that. And now I'm eating chicken Caesar salad. I'm super hungry because I haven't eaten in 24 hours. So, for some reason, I'm still not really craving meat. Okay, maybe I need to open this up some more. Yeah, I'm, stop, I'm still not really craving meat. Cause even though my pregnancy, like I can eat it and stuff, but it's just like, I don't really be wanting it. And when I do, it gotta be like spicy. So I'm eating chicken Caesar salad. I got two more chocolate chip cookies cause I'm a, I'm a sweet tooth girl. I'm gonna try a sweet tooth and got me some little apple juice. A little chocolate oil cake going on. And I'm getting ready to tear it up. They just came and got Ace in. Um, they took him to go get his first bath. So I said, you know what, why he's getting his bath, let me eat. So then when he come back, I can eat. I mean, I can feed him. And then he can uh, go to sleep. Hey, y'all, so I'm back. I told y'all I was gonna come back with another video and talk about my um the whole experience and how I'm feeling and stuff. So basically last well yesterday at four eleven AM in the morning, my water broke with this precious little baby and I didn't get to the hospital till like two hours later, you know, trying to get the kids up at four in the morning and get them to the destination so that they can get to school and daycare and all that safely. Um, but yeah, uh, it took them like an hour, it seemed like, to admit me. Um, they finally admitted me. Um, I went all natural. I had no Pitocin, no nothing this time. Like I usually get Pitocin to speed up the process, but because I was up the night before doing my girl's hair, like, I literally stayed up. I was like, let me do something to their hair because their hair was, like, a mess. So, I did. And, um, I don't know if standing up all those hours sent me into labor or what because my back was hurting so bad. And, um, I, uh, went to sleep in pain. Woke up, I had to use the bathroom. I was like, oh my God, like, I was in pain. I was like, I thought it was because I was holding my, you know, my bladder. You know, I wanted to use the bathroom, but it broke, and that was it. So, basically, I went all natural. If you want to be technical, I was in labor for 12 hours, because I was in labor from 4, 11 in the morning, and I had him 4.43 or 4.49, something like that in the evening but my doctor said technically they was like girl you was not in active labor at, at all long they said technically you really don't count labor until like you're in active labor and um so i don't know active labor it might be in a vlog i think it's like six centimeters and up i don't know but it happened pretty quickly um the contractions was so intense. When I saw a little man give me a run for my money, I was like, I'm never getting pregnant again. I can't do it. It took all my energy. I don't know if it was because I was tired and I didn't get no sleep, but it took all of my energy. Um, hey, baby. Yeah, it took all my energy, y'all. Like, and I was having those really big, like, strong, I mean, those contractions were so strong and it lasted for like 90 seconds. I'm like, oh my gosh. But then I would have strong ones in between, but it's just like, okay, I can bear this. But those ones that was like bringing baby down, oh baby, let me tell you. It was like, I literally had to like talk myself through it. Mind you, I did this five times already. So I was literally talking myself through his birth. And all I kept saying was, come on, Aeson, because mommy's ready to meet you. Like, you know, I had to keep telling myself, uh-oh, he just threw up. 
Go to your tall myself. Like, come on, Easton. Come on, Easton. And just thinking happy thoughts because you know I'm really, I really, you know, I really was excited to meet my baby. So that's what I focus on: me meeting him, holding him, and it's all be over soon. Um. So that's how I got through that. But also, the team I had, they were so nice to me. Like they were like the sweetest. Um, out of all of my labor and delivery, I was never able, they never let me walk around, get on a birthing ball, use a little peanut ball, none of that stuff. And I actually did want to, you know, experience that. So I got to experience that for the first time. I sat on a birthing ball. I walked around. They would take me off the monitor. Um, they would monitor me for like 20 minutes and then take me off for like an hour, put me in for 20 minutes. When the contractions got intense, like I say, when I got to like seven centimeters, I was like, I knew it. I was like, this is getting ready to go quickly. So when they checked me, it was like, you're only seven centimeters. I was like, okay, but soon he's coming. Like I could tell, even though I'm seven, I'm going to go to 10 real quick. So not even five minutes later, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm sitting at the edge of my bed. And I'm having really intense contractions. And now I'm feeling him literally on my butt. So what happened was I was 80% uh, effaced. But uh, I was only 7 centimeters still. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, because, you know, stuff was happening. Those contractions was hitting me so hard. Like back to back, I couldn't breathe. Y'all, literally, I was falling asleep because naturally my body was falling asleep because I was tired. Those contractions were so strong. <sighs> when I would fall asleep, it would literally like bring me back to life. Like, oh shoot, like girl, breathe. So yeah, that's how that went. But I went to 10 centimeters real quick. They came in because actually, they was watching my, uh, they was monitoring me. So they would come in the room and I knew it. I was like, okay, it's really almost time. So I felt them. I felt the urge to push, but I, I knew that I wasn't ready yet. So I was like, okay, I could do this maybe two more times, but I'm going to warn them. But I had another contraction and that thing hit so hard. I said, okay. Within the next two contractions, he's definitely coming. So I pushed a button. And I was like, I feel like, not not this contraction, but that next contraction is definitely push time because I'm starting to kind of feel the urge to push. And it's like back to back to back. Like the contractions was hitting back to back hard. So they checked me out. Mind you, that was three times in a row they checked me. They checked me from, um, well, no, they had checked me at seven. Then they checked me at eight. Well, basically nine, because when they checked me at seven, they was just like, um, they was like, yeah, basically you're uh, eight centimeters. And then when they che uh, checked me at eight centimeters, they was like nine, you're basically nine centimeters. And then that's when at nine, uh, when they said I was almost basically, at, well, when they said I was basically at nine centimeters, that's when I was like, okay, he's the contractions that's getting ready to come. This is going to be it. This is what's going to, you know, take the cake right here. This is going to start the, the, the labor off. Like, I'm ready. So, um, push the button. They literally came right in. They were standing outside the door. He said, we was he said we was monitoring you. And those contractions were so off the chart. Like, we knew something, you know, was going on, even though we just left out the room, the way the contractions were. So he was like, you're doing great. He was like, i never seen no one take pain the way you just taking this. Like, and they kept saying like, what are you feeling? Like, oh my God, they like, girl. So I was like, I just gotta breathe. I can't breathe. Like you have to breathe. There's no other way around it. So they came in, he asked me, he was like, do you feel like it's push time? I was like, yes I do. This next contraction, I'm ready. They all came in. I had a midwife and stuff in there. They all came in. And 
I was like, I had a contraction. I was like, oh my God, I'm holding him, holding him, holding him. Like, I'm pushed. But they told me, um, the midwife was like to my doctor, you know, check her again, make sure it's 100% thinned out and, you know, she's 10 centimeters and ready to go. He checked me, he said, it's a tiny piece of cervix that's over him. She said, okay, so what I want you to do is this next contraction she has with, as she's having this contraction and she's pushing, I want you to push the that little piece of the cervix or whatever it was, she said, push your back behind him, like over him so that he could come out. So y'all, as I'm pushing the baby out and you know, your body's automatically pushing, you know, he's sticking his hand up in me as the baby's coming out and pushing the little cervix piece over the baby's head oh my god mind you i'm all natural i have no medicine there's no nothing in me i'm like what the and then the second contraction that i had i was like okay i was like y'all let me know can i push now she said you can push now y'all i pushed so hard i didn't even know his head was out they didn't say they well they know they did say his head was out but they didn't say it automatically so i pushed when i had a contraction and then they was like you can push you can push but i was like i'm out of breath y'all understand how hard these contractions is i didn't catch my breath when i get my breath then i gain the strength to push real hard so i'm laying there and everybody they all just looking at me they was like push 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 i'm like hold on let me get myself together I know what I'm doing. So I was like, okay. That he came out. Boom. His head and did oh yeah. His head was out. They was like, his head is already out. You might as well just go ahead and push him. Just wait at the shoulders. I was like, his head is out. They say he didn't was like, holy shit. So I took a deep breath and I was like, alright, I'm about to push. And I'm like, uh I mean I pushed as hard as I can and then boom. He started coming out. And they're like, look down, look down, look down, look down. And I'm looking down, and I'm like, oh my God, my feet all ugly. <laughs> but I was just like, thanking God, because the whole time I was praying, I was talking to myself, I told myself I can do it. If I did it five times before, I could do it now, but I feel like that I'm older. My body can't, my body cannot take that. Like, I don't have the energy and stuff I used to have. So how I'm feeling now, after I had the baby, when I say that's the crampiest and crampiest, achiest I've ever been, usually after I have my kids, I'm up. I'm walking around, I'm cleaning, I'm taking stuff out or um, overnight bags, setting up our little outfits and stuff and taking pictures. Y'all, when I say I went to the bathroom twice since I had him and I knew I had him, at four in the evening yesterday and it's now basically five o'clock in the morning the next day and I need to bathroom twice I don't want to move I'm in pain to give me medicine that little Tylenol and Motrin ain't saying nothing so um I just been in this bed y'all I did get up and I tried to walk around but I'm so sore and stuff like that, so I was just like, you know what, mm, I can't do this, so yeah, I'm really exhausted, um, that's how I'm feeling, like, oh my god, that boy got some grip on him, it was so bad, so I just, um, called my nurse, and I explained to her, I, you know, I kind of feel bad, but I can't feel bad because I got to do with stuff and I got to make sure he eat. I had to call the nurse and get um, a bottle. I was like, I just want to see how he'll do with the bottle because, like, I put the nipple shoe and stuff on. He latched on the nipple shoe, no problem. But, um, I'm sorry, y'all, it's hot in here. But, um, my boobs, like, was bleeding. Like, my actual nipple was bleeding. I was like, it's not supposed to do that. 
So I'm gonna put in the uh, medulla nipple cream on there, and I'm gonna feed in a bottle for just like the next couple um, feedings if you wake up really um, hungry, just so that I could get my boobs back in a space where it's not like super sore because I want my baby to be able to breastfeed. And then also like I got the breast pump and stuff like that at home. So like that'll help me out too. So if he knows how to breast and bottle feed, that'll be a big deal because I can pump. And like <clears throat> if my boobs are sore, I can just give him my milk in a bottle. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Um if y'all have any questions about anything, just comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hopefully, my journey, my new journey with my baby boy all over again, starting over, can help somebody else out. Um, I got a lot of feedback, and I'm in, like, these pregnancy groups on my Facebook page, and I got so much, like, feedback. I posted a status. You know, saying that, you know, I did it for a sixth time. Baby boy finally here. Because, you know, we was keeping up with each other. I'm like, yo, I'm overdue and all this stuff. So they were so excited for me. But I had so many people asking me. Um, he did pretty good. He did pretty good. I actually had to slow him down. He was drinking so fast. I think he's just not used to, like, the flow. Yeah. So he started choking and stuff like that. So I took it and burped him. And he fell asleep. Okay. So yeah, so I'm like, so you want me to help you wrap him up or you want to leave Yeah, him sure. Yeah. So then oh you know what? Let me take my phone off of there. I'm doing like a little vlog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay.